okay guys welcome back and in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to uh, do error handling with the app router so basically we have seen that we have these elements uh, out here or kind of urls from which we can extract data and all but one of the things that uh, what we are actually seeing here is that if you just type in here some random url okay and just put an enter you can see that nothing has happened and if in this case it was something like this okay, and I just typed in something like a random URL and pressed enter okay, so you can see that error will ha occur so just in the last part I'll show you how to do error handling so basically what you have to do is just is just go into the my route and as with page.js I'll show you that you have to include that if you have to just refer to any path you have to put in a star so I'll just put in a star out here okay a star and then I'll just make in a my 404 page I'll just I'll make a new element my 404 page just wait for this to complete okay and i'll give this also a no so not to include in into the elements.html file and since this element has now been created i'll just rename this 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 thing to my 404 page so all this thing would actually do here that in case it receives a url which is actually not defined earlier to uh, earlier not defined or doesn't know what to do with it it is it will just go ahead and kind of print uh, output this file to into the browser you just go ahead and now and try to do something okay if i just click on different urls we can see that everything is working fine so all we have to do is just just go ahead and try a random url and this to this thing should actually work but we have to just name it something so that we can see it quite clearly so I'll just give this again a h1 tag and inside the div my 404 and give this a thing of like page okay so now if we just go ahead and see what happens okay so since i typed something like a random url you can see that a 404 error is actually being shown so you can actually imagine that how things like facebook and github actually use routing so in just in case you typed in a random url which the system cannot search for it will show you a 404 error page and this is actually how this thing actually works so if i just remove this thing it will look kind of much cleaner and all I print out here is that f who okay okay so you can see that if a random URL is just typed in here it gives a 404 page but if in case a URL is selected which is actually already defined you can see that it works totally fine and in case we have to extract a URL extract a variable or some definite value from the URL we can even do that easily since here it is type 2 or if we just type in 6 or, or something like that it will show in the index.html file so basically friends that is all for the app router and one more thing is le left is that push state router and the push state router is actually what push state anchor and the push state anchor is actually what does is that it just removes this hash URL from uh, hash thing from the URL and so such that it basically looks much more cleaner so basically you can see that apps like facebook or github don't use a hash in the urls but still kind of implement routing so we'll just see in the next tutorial how to use the push state anchor so definitely stay tuned for the next tutorial guys like the channel like the channel and subscribe to it and please comment uh, please comment on the videos and thank you